guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we come out with a new reactor video every week, as well as a bunch of other content. Alright, so today I'm going to design a simple modulation system using the send and receive modules. And the idea is we can use these modules to create extremely flexible signal paths and modulation networks for our synths or whatever ensembles you happen to be working on. And next week I'll showcase how we can use this method to create an FM synth where kind of like an operator or the old uh, DX7 you have a bunch of different styles of routing matrices to choose from. Alright, so let's get started. And the first thing I always like to do is just create a macro that has all the sends in it, and then each send has its own input, and that's just the whole entire macro. And I like to have those sectioned off. You can just feed this macro with any number of sound sources you like, and then um, any receive module on inside your ensemble can just grab any of those sound sources at any point in time and send them wherever you like. So we can use this to create some really powerful stuff. So let's get started uh, adding up adding in a receive module. It's going to have its own macro, so we can just copy paste this macro that is going to handle each receive module that we have. So we can of course just create a receive ma uh, module and run it directly into the output and be done with it actually if we wanted to. Um, but I like to have some controls that allow us to automate uh, which audio source is being received by the receive module. So we'll do that using the input and an IC send. We can use the IC send not to be confused with the send module. It's a completely different module. And we can go into the connect tab in the properties and connect these two modules together like so. So now whatever value we receive at the input of this macro here we can use to control the IC send which will in turn choose which input is being used by the receive module. So in order to see the receive module we need to mark it visible in properties and I like to turn it to use the menu view which is just uh, takes up a little less space than the uh, standard view while we're at it, we can make the IC send that's controlling it invisible because that's not really showing us anything of value right now. So one thing you might notice is that the receive module does not have an off option. Or rather, it's off by default, but as soon as you uh, select a send for it to receive, the off option disappears. So to keep that there all the time, we want to go into the properties and select the Enable Switch Off option in the um, Function tab. Alright, so let's go about using the input to this macro to control the IC send, which will in turn control which send is being received by our Receive module. So I'm going to create a second input and name it max, and we'll use that. We can divide the input to the module by max. Um, so I'm going to have a knob that ranges from 0 to 6, and then we will declare max to be 6. And when we divide, we'll have a range from 0 to 1, which is the range that the IC send uses by default. And this is actually not the way to do things, but we'll use it to figure out how we want to proceed from here. Okay, so first let's rearrange here for a second. 
Well, and now it's not working anyway because we don't have it set to be always active. And this is one of those weird ones. You can't even use a numeric readout to make it active. You actually need to... See, that didn't really work either. So you actually need to use the IC send, set that to be always active in the function tab, and then uh, we'll get things working here. And you can turn the numeric to be off. Okay, so at this point, it's like half working. Um, it, when we have the knob set to zero, it turns off. When we have the knob set to one, it gives us receive number six, which is kind of the inverse of how we want it to be. Um, when the knob's set to two, instead of getting two, we get a five. When it's set to three, we get a four, etc. So uh, I did figure out how to fix this. It's a really simple little equation. We're simply going to take the input, subtract 1 from it, divide that by the max value, and we want to set all of these uh, maths to uh, be monophonic. And then we subtract 1, we subtract from 1 that value that we just calculated, like so. And now our uh, controller should work so that the value that we send into this macro is the number of receive that we end up receiving. So now everything works besides zero, so we need to create a special case situation for when the input is equal to zero. So in case you're wondering what I mean by setting the receive module to off, it just means that it's receiving values from none of the sent modules and the output will be equal to zero and that's really useful for some situations gives you a lot more flexibility so to implement that i'm going to use an order module in conjunction with a router and a compare module so we're going to compare to see if the incoming value is greater than zero if it's not greater than zero then it's probably equal to zero um, unless the user is sending us invalid data, which we'll just ignore for now. And we can route that directly into the zero output input of the router. If it's greater than zero, then we want to do the little equation that we s just implemented earlier. And we can run that into the one input of the router, and you simply use the router to control the IC send. And now we can turn our receive module off as well as set it to receive any send that we give it at the input. And next week I'll show how we can use this setup to create a very flexible FM synth. Thanks for watching. This is Salamander Anagram with reactortutorials.com. Have a good week.